Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Come here with a product that I've been super, super excited to uh, take and get a hold of. This is called Moby Slider. It's made by one of the world's premier uh, sliding camera companies that make these sliders and, and adjusters for cameras, uh, DSLRs, um, the uh, iPhones and Androids, which was what this worked for. This is a cool product they've made that has five different mounts that you can take and use along with uh, high-end cameras to everything down to your iPhone and your Android phone. So it's really cool. What this does is it, is it gives you a sliding mechanism for your camera to give you cool production videos that you can take and use. And we'll show you what that's about here in a second. But here's what we've got from Moby Slider. Now you can get this at MobySlider.com. You can see the name here, MobySlider.com. It's called the Glide Track. There will be a link below the video on the ChrisVonShow.com website that you can take and click on. Be sure to check out their other website, Glide Track. And on Glide Track, they have a whole ton of really cool products that you can use for uh, DSL uh, cameras and all that good stuff. I think you can kind of see that there if we focus in. But you can see some of the cool products they make there. If you're a cameraman, photographer, be sure to check out their website. At GlideTrack.com, you can also get there from MobySlider.com. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got a really nice gig bag that they've got here. So this is a bag. Looks like it's even got a shoulder strap on it that they've given us. And since this is a quite a big unit, they give you a really nice strap uh, and holder so that you can put your Mobis Slider with with you and take it with you. Shoulder strap to go over the shoulder. So that's really freaking nice been really excited to get this. This came over from Europe. Uh, not sure what's in this. This appears to be an extension of some type. It's a Moby Slider glide track. So we'll go ahead and pop this open just to see what's in here. And I believe this may be an extender to give us more length beyond the uh, what we have there. So we'll open this up here and get an idea as we get to know the product. We'll find out what this does more. So what you can see is it's a glide track and what this is designed to do is it's got precision uh, precision workings inside of it and let's give you a flip side where you can see the side you can see here an image of what it will take and do where it holds your phone or your camera and it slides along uh, giving you a really great shot. What's really cool about it too is it gives you um, you can use it vertically, horizontally, inclined, and everything else. There'll be a video that will be on the Chris Voss show that you can see, and you can see all the different things that they can take and link to. Now, it'll work with five different mounts. You've got the mobile slider, articulated mount, mobile device mount, quarter inch standard mount, adhesive ball mount, and quarter inch ball mount. So you can use this with a variety of different toys and cameras that you may take and have. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this baby negotiated out of here. And it looks like it's very well packaged, so we're just going to get all evil on it right there. So here we go. We're going to pop the plastic open. And wow, this is a thing of beauty. I've been excited to get a hold of one of these. So let's take a look at it close up here. We've got, uh, these are the ends that, of course, you can see here. They've got some ball bearing stands that are rounded. Now, one of the things you want is you could just slide your camera across the screen as you're recording something. But one of the problems you have is it's got to move very smoothly. It's got to make no noise. And if it's jerky in any way, it will make your camera, of course, look silly and, and stupid. You can see here it's got a mount, looks like, with a lock release on it and so we'll probably find some mechanisms to connect this. Up here looks like we've got a hole. I don't know if this is for carrying purposes where you can run something through this. We'll find out here in a bit. And it's basically designed to take in work as a slider that will go back and forth as you do your videos. And of course this makes it uh, look really cool. Now you can also use it on a vertical basis. You can use it on an angle basis everything else. So it looks like I might be missing some parts here, which I assume are probably in this box. So let's go ahead and unbox this some more so we can see what those parts would be. And sure enough, we've got some there. I think we've got some other ones. Unboxings, uh, unboxings are fun, but they're sometimes a little messy. <clears throat> so 
So, looks like what we have in here is this would be, uh, looks like we've got some sort of sticker thing that acts as a sticker and a, uh, not sure what that is, that may be an adjuster for a mount, we'll find out when we read the instructions, and it looks like we have a mount, now this is the mount from what we see in the camera that will hold your iPhone or your Android phone, and this will take an open and close. Looks like it's got a locking mechanism to it. And what this will do is this will mount to this thing and slide back and forth for us. So let's also take a look. Looks like we've got some instruction manuals. We'll get into that when we come back after the break. And so looks like this gives us some ideas on how to utilize the different mounts that they have. So in this bag, looks like what we have is several different screw mounts that you can take and use for the different things that you're going to take and have in using to mount these. So these are all sorts of different mounts. What we'll do is we'll put these into use when we demonstrate the product and you'll be able to see how they work. So we're going to take and play with this and uh, get a good idea of how it works. Uh, give it a day or so and within a second we'll pop back and we'll show you this little baby in action. But we're really excited to do this and see you in a sec. Okay folks, so we're back. This has become my most favorite toy and it's really excited me about doing camera work, doing photography, doing video <clears throat> once again because it's amazing. I'm so excited to get this product and it has just fulfilled all my wildest dreams that I wanted to take and do with it. Um, this thing is really cool. Now it'll work with five different mounts that come with it for um, the uh, phones, you can use them for SLRs, you can use it for digital cameras, all that sort of good stuff. It's adjustable in every way, shape, and form. You can take a look here. What we've done is we put the extender in. They sent me an extender, and I'm sure that's an additional product on top of what you guys saw in the original box, but they sent me an extender, and the extender, you can see, gives you quite a bit of space here, a very long space. So if you can, get the extender with the original product. Now you can see here, we've got it set up, and what I'm using is I'm using a case called Div Case that's holding my iPhone, and it's a specialized case that has mounts in both the bottom and the side from Div Case and uh, makes it so that we can mount this just like you would do a tripod. Now you can also mount this using, of course, what we showed you earlier, uh, a thing for you can put a phone in here, which is really great because you can use this for iOS devices, uh, Android, uh, other cell phones. You can virtually any cell phone that will fit in here will rock and roll with it. Um, it comes with another ball mount, and the ball mounts mount inside the little brackets there. It's got a screw down. Uh, and pulls in and out of place. What's really nice is you can easily detach it and it will come out for you so that you can have it at your beck call and will, um, which is really nice. And then of course you just unscrew this, put the ball joints in to whatever mount you want to take and do, and you can do that. And then right away you're back to rocking and rolling. So what we want to take and do Um, so you can easily put the ball mounts in. Here's one where this can be uh, glued to the back, or I should probably say, well, not glued, but you know what I mean. Um, here's a foam insert that can be stuck onto something. Here's also a, another insert that we can use for cameras and different things. This has got a different size screw head on it, so it's made for some other types of cameras that you can take and utilize. And then, of course, you have this one here. So <clears throat> uh, you can see here how quick and easy it is to do really cool stuff when it comes to motion photography. We're looking for a way to make our review videos a whole lot cooler in being able to do sliding elements where you can move forward. Uh, what's really neat is you can set this up so that you can go on an angle. Of course, you have to build something to it. If you want to go up and down, you can go up and down and all that good stuff. Looks like we've got a heavy phone here. so. We don't quite screw this down the way we probably need to. Now, what's really cool about the product, too, is that on the bottom, you've got a tripod screw mount. So, what you can actually do is take and screw this to a tripod and be able to have a nice tripod, especially if you can stand high or low, and be able to screw this. And literally, this is sitting on a tripod, and uh, you're able to utilize not only the tripod, but the um, mobile slider. So 
freaking amazing. We were mind blown by that. Now, the really cool thing here too is that these ends, the green parts, will take and unscrew off so they can, uh, if you want to get a better mount or whatever the case may be, you can pull those out if they're maybe a bother to you. There is actually a hole here at the top on this end and also the other end so that if you want to hang this maybe with a wire cord or something like that so you can get those vertical angles and all that good stuff. Um, the other thing is it's really easy to pull these ends off. Just pop them off and you've got uh, the end there that you can see where you can mount this. So if you do want to mount this and you want to do it to where it's going up and down or at a diagonal and you, this is bothering you at the angles it's using, you can just go ahead and go stick it in and away you go. And then you can very easily get the mounts back on. So let's see if I can do that. There we go. And screw these babies on. So it gives you a, a numerous different options you can take and do with it. If you watch the video that we'll put on the Chris Voss Show below this video, chrisvossshow.com, or on Mobus Slider's website at mobuslider.com, you can see some of the really cool different angles that you can use. You can take and um, take and draw yourself against the product where you can stay in really tight and then you can move out which makes it look really cool. You can come in with a tight shot, move out and expand on your product. You can angle it different ways so that it doesn't come into the camera shot which is one thing we liked. Um, we could put a product right here and we could, we could easily slide back and forth. I need to screw that down a little bit better. So <clears throat> uh, we love the product. It was very amazing for us. We love being able to have the different shots and edits, of course, that you can take and do. What's really cool is you, you go in one way, in and out on a product, you come back out the other way, uh, do it from another angle, and you just edit, piece them together. What really works well with the slider is using, uh, in, in like iMovie or other different editing things, if you do a slide and then you use the uh, transitions where you like, you know, you have a white transition or you go from one thing to another and then you do another slide and you do a transition. It's really freaking fun and really freaking cool. And one thing we've really enjoyed about it is trying to come up with all the different ways we can film stuff uh, utilizing the slider. We really, really, really like it. A lot of times what we're doing is we'll cut the video and then we'll go ahead and edit audio on top of it or you can do music or whatever the case may be. But it slides very easily and from all the different angles that you can take and do, where you're going, where you're going from, you know, diagonal or just about any angle you want, you can get that set up to do. I probably should just stand that up straight up so it doesn't give us the problems that we're having there, huh? There we go. So, uh, be sure to check it out. It's at MobySlider.com. That's MobySlider.com. The company is GlideTrack, and they make a, a ton of other great camera products. You should check out if you're a serious professional cameraman, you want a slider, uh, things for your camera, and you want that pro effect. Go to the website. They spend a lot of good money and a lot of good technology that they put into their products. And if you really want to look professional, it's a great way to do it. Highly recommend it. And uh, get the extension. We like the extension. It gives a lot of space to move around. So be sure to check it out. Be sure to check back in the ChrisVossShow.com. Go to MobySlider.com. Tell them that Chris Voss sent you. Take care.